I don't know about you, but I'm not really big into fishing. I love the outdoors, I enjoy camping, I'm actually really into the idea of living off the land, but fishing does not do it for me. Though, scripture certainly references it specifically when Jesus begins his ministry. Now what we know about the Bible is that it was not written to us, but it was written for us. So when we read things that may not seem clear culturally to what we know of or understand or even prefer at times, it's always important to understand the context of the passage. So Matthew 4, 19 says this, Jesus called out to them, come and follow me and I will show you how to fish for people. Honestly, fishing for people doesn't sound very exciting to me. But when you understand who Jesus is talking to and what that statement actually means, you can then apply it to your own life. Because Jesus' first disciples were vocational fishermen, so he relates to them immediately by comparing what they are used to doing of actually drawing in fish from the sea to what he's now calling of them to draw in people to the kingdom of God. So. What in your life could God use to draw in people to his kingdom? Because we may not all be called to full-time vocational ministry, but we are all called to be his disciples wherever he has placed us. If you've never thought about that before, I'd encourage you to ask God to speak to you, to show you what in your life he would intend to use to grow his kingdom. And I promise you this, being a part of God's story in this way is so much better than any other thing we could do on our own.